Hi guys, today's video is going to be an empties video. Now before I start, I'm pretty sure I did one not that long ago. It could well have been a month, but my brain just melts and I can't remember what I did yesterday. So thumbs up or comment down below if you're the same as me because it's just... You know, I literally can't remember what I did yesterday, but I can remember what I did when I was three or four. Crazy. Is that short term or long term memory? Can't remember. But I have a bag full of empties. Ta -da! And I've got a few makeup items and bits and pieces as well in this one. I'm just going to literally, mind the noise guys, I'm just going to literally pull this out on my sofa. Got to open, nothing's open. Oh my God. Right, and then I'm going to put it all back in this bag. Right. So, the first thing I am pulling out, oh, I've got three of these. Well, let's go for these first. The first one I've got is a Tesco's Protect Multi Protect um, mouthwash, uh, which is this thing here. Uh, this is what it looks like, sorry. It's a six in one and it's the Winter Mint. Winter Mint? How can I tell what Winter Mint is? It smells like mint to me. They all smell the same, actually. Oof, I don't really like the smell of that. Um, I do use mouthwash on occasions, but I prefer just not to because I've got really sensitive teeth. Um, so I just brush my teeth. You wouldn't think so looking at my teeth, but then the camera makes them look yellow than they are. That's what I say anyway. So that's the first one. Um, that is, uh, like I said, a Tesco's mouthwash. I think the next one is also a Tesco's one. This is the Protect. No, yeah, Protect less intense flavor i think this is the one i used more than anything because i really don't like majorly over you know sometimes when you rinse your mouth out in mouthwash and you get that your taste buds just go into overdrive and you're like oh can't stand it this one is in mild mint but can i just say it smells exactly the same as the other one um so that's that one these are 500 ml bottles which is quite good um yep yeah, these they go through my family go through these like wildfire, so that's that one. I didn't like it, it's okay. This one is ugh, a mouthwash that I just cannot stand. Any type of Listerine mouthwash just completely drives my mouth mad. Uh, this is the Listerine Zero. Now, whether it's because it's not got... Oh, zero alcohol, there you go. Um, yeah, so it's zero alcohol. This one is in mild mint. Sorry, that that's what it looks like. Um... Let me just smell it for you. Again, that smells exactly the same as the Tesco's ones. I really can't. This was okay. Like I said, mouthwashes just completely do my mouth in, so I can't be doing with anything like that. Then I'm going to go for a hand wash. This has got the tiniest bit in it, but you can never get them out. Um, this is the Carex one. I love Carex hand washes. It's the Carex Protect Plus moisturizing and it's just amazing it's got the little pump thingy on it i love the smell of these they just smell so clean and the moisturizing one really does leave your hand moisturized so there you go that's that one um next is just a whole bunch of right let's get this order that's that that uh oh no that one right so the next ones is like head related shampoo type thing this I did um, put in my empties in last the last empties video that I did, and that was the Garnier Ultimate Blends Conditioner, I think. Well, this is the shampoo. I don't know what that is. It's disgusting. My middle daughter tends to wash her hair, leave the caps open, and then knock it over on the bath. I don't know if anyone else's kids do that. She's the only one of my children that does it, and it just drives me mad. She also puts back empty or practically empty bottles of juice or coke or something back in the fridge and that just drives me crazy as well um she has actually been known to put empty packets back like she'll f finish her pepperami packets and she'll just put the empty one back in thinking that i'm gonna think there's some in there but i'm not that stupid um so this is the vanilla milk and papaya the smell of these are absolutely divine and they're gorgeous but they're just a little bit too expensive still for me at the moment this one alone i think when they first came out in tesco's i got and it was three pound fifty and that's just ridiculous for something that small i mean it's only got 250 mils in it but it's a really good shampoo so that's that one this is one of my favorites this is the herbal essences be strong strengthening shampoo it looks absolutely disgusting again it's all been spilt on but this the smell of this one oh if you love any sort of honey smell 
this is it. It is amazing. I love it. It leaves my hair silky, moisturised and just absolutely beautiful. So I definitely recommend that one. This is another one of the herbal essences that I absolutely recommend. I love it, especially if you've got dry hair. And that's the um, Beautiful Ends. And this one's got raspberry extract in it. Red raspberry. Is there any other type? You know. Again, the smells of herbal essences they've got this right they've definitely got the smell of their shampoos and conditioners right they are gorgeous they last on the hair they linger for ages they make the whole bathroom if not the whole house smell of what you just washed your hair in I absolutely love that this is one of the original herbal essence shampoos and this is the silk and shine this one has got rose hips and the jojoba extract with vitamin e oh divine I could just, I love doing empties because I just love getting my nose in and smelling. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, original packaging is so much better. Please, Herb Essences, discard of the old packaging and bring the new, the old, the new one and bring the old one back because this is just heavenly and gorge. <clears throat> All right, now I'm going to go for shower gels. I've got quite a few of those. One, two, three, four. Right, first one is an Avon Senses Reflection. This is the peach, uh, the peaceful oriental orchid and raspberry i was an avon rep and i can quite safely say i don't like any of the avon shower gels they smell synthetic they ugh, they don't linger on your skin they don't they're just not nice you know they, they wash your body that is about all the avon shower gels are good for um yeah i don't really like these at all i just got these because they're on special offer i think i think when i was doing my avon they were like five for five or six for six pounds or something. I don't know. But no, not really keen on the Avon ones. Like I said, they don't linger. They don't make you smell nice particularly. These ones by Right Guard are amazing. Um, they're my daughter's favourites. Whenever we go into Poundland, because that's where they get these, um, she stocks up because she loves this. This is one of her favourites. This is the Argon Marula and Almond Oil. And it's shower gel and oil. They're just gorgeous. Oh, they, they, they smell spa like to me um, and having never been to a spa in my life I wouldn't know what I'm talking about but they smell like they should be in a spa and I just love them I look really dark I'm just Is that better? you can see my door now look ooh, leads out into my hallway um yeah I love these they do about three different scents of these and they're gorgeous there's a moisturizing one um um, we get, I get them, like I said, in Poundland. When they've got these in Poundland, I stock up. And that's exactly what I'll be doing tomorrow when I go shopping. Because they are divine and they're gorgeous. This is another one that I don't really rate. Oh. Oh, sorry. Just got a text message. How rude. Um, another one I don't really rate. And I'm, I'm quite surprised because Marks and Spencers, to me, just sort of like says quality and stuff like that. But, No. I don't like them. I think these are 99p. Um, they do several different scents. This one is the Passion Flower. No, it just doesn't smell nice. It's Again, it smells synthetic like the Avon ones do. And I really... They're good for washing your body, but they don't linger. The smell doesn't... It's not worth washing your body in something that you're not going to smell of afterwards, to be honest. I don't like these. I won't be buying them from Marks and Spencers again. These... I will absolutely rave about because I love them and they could well be in one of my um, product stars of the week type videos. Uh, these are the Imperial Leather Foam Bursts and I just, oh, they're gorgeous. Again, I get these on when they're on special offer because they are quite expensive. Normally they're about 2 50 each, but sometimes they go down to a pound 50 or a pound, especially in Asda. Asda have always got these on special offer. Um, this is the Balancing Green Tea and Jasmine. I can't unfortunately smell this. Because if I squirt it out, well, something might come out. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Tiniest little bit. Look, that's what it comes out like. Let me just rub it in. Oh, they are just divine and heavenly. And I don't... Maybe there is a little bit more left in that one. I don't know. People are going to write and complain now at the bottom. Oh, it's not empty. Um, but, yeah, that... Oh, gorgeous. Look at it. Oh, it's just divine and heavenly. If you shake it, there's nothing in there. So that must have just been a little bit that was at the top. I absolutely love the foam bar first. They are amazing. Imperial leather, again, are the same as um, 
right garden stuff and herbal essences they get the smells right so yeah, i've rubbed that off now and oh i can still smell it and it's gorge right so another one sort of body wash type thing is the johnson's baby two in one and it's got a hair attached that is just gross oh that's one of my daughters um this is the johnson's baby two in one bubble bath and wash again amazing love the smell of this it's not the original smell um i do actually love the original johnson smell but this one it's just a little bit more fruity and a little bit more sort of spring and summery like. Um, it's sensitive, that's why I like it, because it's it's good for my youngest. She's got very sensitive skin and very dry skin, so um, she will definitely like this. Um, yeah, so I love it, absolutely love it. And that will be repurchased on a regular basis. Then we have a shave gel, which I don't use because my daughter actually uses this. I use the... Um, intuition razors is it the one with the soap bar on the outside this is the satin care radiant apricot smells like apricots and it's just divine and she likes it so she usually repurchases this and buys it herself i don't buy it she does um yeah but she likes that then i've got a face wash which is the l'oreal perfect clean you can tell how old this thing is because like it's peeling and the the thing's gone from there um yeah it, it's really nice. It comes with one of those like little rubberized sort of things that you rub your face with. Um, really, really nice. Good product. It doesn't dry my skin out, which is quite good. Um, very difficult to find these now because L'Oreal bring out so many different ones. But I have got another one of these on the go. I think I bought these in bulk years, oh, no, months ago. Um, and yeah, didn't really. I used it up and that's it. I like it. It's not bad. Um... They're quite good to use with the like uh, W7, not W7, number seven, like Clarisonic type dupe thing. They're quite good for that. Right, then I have one of my, well, it is my Holy Grail face wipe. I've got to get some more of these when I go shopping tomorrow because, well, as you can see, I kind of like them. I've got four here. This was the original packaging when they first came out. Um, these are the exfoliating facial cleansing wipes with cucumber extract. They've got little beads on them and they just really get your face clean. This, I do believe, is the new packaging. I've gone through these loads. And um, my second favourite was the Nivea one, which I'm actually using at the moment. And that's this one. But I don't really, since, since buying these and using these, I don't like the Nivea one anymore so I can't wait to go shopping tomorrow and get some more of these from Primark because they're only a pound each which is amazing uh the next thing I'm going to show you well the next items that I'm going to show you aren't necessarily empties um some are mascaras and they've dried up so I'm going to show you them the first one is not the, this isn't the mascara this is the first one is a body butter from um Body Shop, it's my favourite, favourite scent out of all of them, which is the Pink Grapefruit. Now, this has got loads in it, but I think the lid wasn't shut properly on this. And when the air gets to it, the smell just goes. And you can see there's loads in here. But it ugh, does not smell like Pink Grapefruit anymore. Eh, it smells horrible. Um, I have actually got another one of these, which is sealed. So I'm just going to make sure that once I've opened that one, you shut it really tight. Because if the air gets to these things... They're useless. They just the smell. Oh, I can't even describe what that smells like. It's just disgusting. Um, and another thing is another thing that's dried up because the lid popped off, um, which is a bit of a shame because I love these. And this is the Elf lotion wipes. This one's in vanilla and coconut, as you can see there. Absolutely amazing. I love, love, love these things. Keep them in your handbag or whatever. They still absolutely smell divine, but the the cloths are dry pretty much. They're, they're just dry. Yes, they're really nice. Um, they have actually got more scents of these now, which I'm really looking forward to trying. If I place an order anytime soon, I will be trying the different ones, but these are just amazing. On a hot summer day, if you get really dry skin, just to give you your arms, your neck, your body, whatever, a wipe over with one of these, and you just feel refreshed, moisturised, and you smell gorge, which is fair. Right, the last four products I've got are mascaras. Um, I sorted these out the other day. Big Fake by Collection 2000. I think, I do believe they still do this one. 
or the five in one might have overtaken it now i don't know but the big fake was gorgeous um i did use this as much as i could but it's brown i don't know if you can see that it's definitely not black um the brush is really really big the bristles are really really big um and it really sort of like pulls your lashes out to make them lovely but it's dried up so i cannot use it anymore this one i do believe i got out of a magazine and i don't think it's dry i just didn't like it it's horrible i think i got this yeah like a free with a magazine i can't remember what one it was this is by candy rock and it's false effects mascara this has got just the really really sort of like the rocket maybelline rocket wand is very similar to that it's very flexible and it's very lovely but the formula is disgusting it stays wet doesn't dry on your eyelashes at all um and the minute you sort of sneeze or anything like that you've got black eye so really not that good um i picked this one up in poundland this is a milani lotta lash um not bad not bad i didn't mind this one at all um the wand is just a standard sort of wand but as you can see after a few weeks after it opened it just started clumping and yeah just not nice so that one is going in the bin the last one i absolutely adored and i used it used it religiously when i first bought it it is the max factor eye brightening one this is the one that they have for certain colored eyes i think this this is the one for brown eyes because i have brown eyes or brown hazel eyes um i love the wand on this it's just the plastic sort of really thin bristled wand um the formula is gorgeous it doesn't clump it doesn't dry crispy on your eyes it's it's just gorgeous and once i've used a lot of my mascaras in there um i will be repurchasing this one i really really like it i also like the max factor is it a thousand calorie lashes i just that is amazing um same sort of par as this i think i, I don't know it's not it's black pearl so basically when it was okay if you got really really close you could you could see the pearly effect on there i don't know if you can see it on on the wand about here you can see the pearly effect it's got tiniest tiniest little sparkles of pearl in it and you know in the sunlight it would catch your lashes and it just looks beautiful so i love this i would definitely repurchase it again once i've used the many thousands of mascaras i've got in there um but yeah that is that is it that is my last empties item and i'm pretty sure that's a bloody long video at 17 minutes so yeah i'm gonna carry on collecting empties i think my kids have now got into it as well and now they just stick the empties in the empties bag um so that's why i've collected so many again in such a short space of time but that is my empties i will see you all in my next video i hope you like it um i hope you have a good weekend and i shall see you all soon guys Bye.